Wrapping her raincoat tightly around her, she quickened her pace. A fire burned in her stomach. Never had she felt so angry. As she neared the stable, she saw that empty feed boxes dotted the area and the November grass was almost bare. When was the last time these poor animals were fed? When she finally reached the four wooden stalls, she took a deep breath and willed herself to look inside. All of them were empty. Thank God, she breathed. But then, just as she was about to turn and leave, she saw a hoof sticking out from behind the end stall. No, 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 she begged as she ran to the fallen horse. She dropped to her knees, mud and manure seeping into her jeans. Her heart caught in her throat. She recognized the familiar short blonde tail of the horse she had loved to visit through the adjoining fence. His sweet personality reminded her of a horse she had ridden as a child. Tears welling in her eyes, she gingerly touched the horse's side. Each rib protruded beneath the skin. She quickly jerked her hand away. The rain fell harder now, and muddy streaks flowed down the animal's body, revealing glimpses of the white and black polka-dotted coat hidden beneath the crusted-on mud and filth. Three dead, she lamented. The silence was broken by the sound of the front gate slamming shut. The authorities had arrived. Penny stood and headed back down to the pasture to meet them. She was soaked from head to foot and smelled of manure, but she didn't care. Animal control workers had already begun guiding weak horses onto trailers, while others unloaded equipment to transport the dead. As she stood shivering in the rain while answering the sheriff's questions, a shout pierced the melancholy air. Hey, this one is still alive. Penny dashed back to the stalls where an animal control officer held his hand against the fallen horse's spotted nose. Are you sure? She asked eagerly. The young officer looked up at her smiling, rain dripped from his blue cap. Yes, I can feel air coming from his nostrils and I can hear a faint heartbeat. Oh, thank God, she said, fighting back tears. Ma'am, do you know the owner of this farm? The sheriff asked. Penny heard his question, but she couldn't take her eyes off the horse. He was alive.